Okay, you can see that I've taken a minute to tape up the drawers. This little drawer right here from Mercedes is about $250. So if you're doing this for a client, you most certainly do not want to scratch it up. Okay, now that you got the two screws out, you can pull this out up and then when you get it up you gotta flip it over and take the connector off the bottom now once you get the ashtray out you need to reach underneath and pry out the little tab on the bottom you can also use a plastic tool to reach in behind here and and push out on the panel once you get that out you need to push up and pull it out like this Pull it out and then down and then once you pull it down uh, take care to keep the coin compartment closed you don't want to scratch that and then once you get it down you can take off the connectors in the back and what you'll see is that the connector has a little tit on top you push that down and then that allows you to push this locking out and then you repeat that let me try to show you a little better. Push that down. You see the little tab on top right there. Just push that down and then that pushes out the connector. You just remove the rest of the connectors. They're, they're small. Okay, with the climate control panel out of the way, you can just reach in and grab the coin and just pull that out. There's no wires or anything attached to it. And then, of course, you see the wires that I removed from the climate control. You just want to keep those separate. So I push them down over here out of the way while I remove the radio. When you remove the radio, what you want to do is you want to take out this screw here on each side. push down on these to lock it to unlock it and then you'll see now the whole thing just the command module just slides out okay. once you have the radio out you're just going to push in on the tabs and you're going to remove all of the connectors and you have a blue a black a yellow and then also right here I want to show you this right here when you push on this piece right here that allows you to pull back on this arm and once you do that the plug okay. comes out my iPod module is just floating around inside there but once you get it out you're gonna take off this little network connector and that goes to the cable that is in your glove box. Okay, so now that we have removed the iPod interface, and you can see also the, the fiber optic, uh, which was connected to the command module, we'll have to remove that from this plug. And then we're going to separate this harness. This is this is the the iPod connector, and you see the cables all bundled up. This this bundle right here in my hand, we're actually going to discard. We're not going to need that going forward. So if you look, it's the same fitting that's on the radio. You just pull up on this, and then once you do that, it causes that to unlock. All right. Now what we're going to need is this little fiber optic there's a little tab right there next to my finger and I'm gonna to have to put the video down to, to pull it out we have to be very careful with okay that. now that we've removed that other section of the harness uh, we need to prepare this this harness which is what's remaining in the car uh, we need to prepare that to connect to the radio harness the Avon harness now you're gonna remove the two auxiliary microphone now this one is for the microphone um, I guess they had a, a, a little plug-in, remote plug-in. Um, we don't need that anymore. And then the little black one is the one that 
is mounted up behind the mirror, the rear view mirror. So we don't need those anymore. I'm going to use the uh, microphone that's supplied here. Okay, carry. now you see that I, I've prepared the, uh, the most adapter box and I've already connected the left and the right uh, sound output, or rather input, sorry. And then also um, I've connected the, the wiring harness uh, the supply with the radio and now we're going to remove this adapter piece and we're going to connect this fiber optic it only fits one way and then we're going to plug that into the most box and this is the fiber optic after it's in, been inserted to the adapter uh, there's a small fiber optic plastic plug adapter that fits directly into the most converter so there you go now that's this is all connected now and now we're going to begin to install their stereo so I have the front camera HD camera connected to the USB input that's already connected to the radio I'll be doing the mic in uh, just, just just a little bit it's it's a short cable so I'll be connecting it when I when I plug the radio in uh, I have the audio in and out and notice that I didn't use um, any of the other input and outputs. I just used the front right out and the front left out and connected that and taped them together uh, for the most fiber optic adapter. Uh, I have also the USB and um, iPod auxiliary plugged in. Um, I also ran this plug through the hole of the glove box um, before uh, connecting everything. Uh, I have the black uh, audio antenna adapter. It works really well uh, with the factory. And I have uh, everything else connected um, as we saw earlier, as well as the backup camera and everything else. I haven't tested that one just yet, but uh, coming soon. So now it's ready to put the stereo into. Okay, now we've got the stereo in place. Uh, we've got the screws underneath locking it in i put the coin drawer in or coin tray and if you notice the most adapter sits right here on top along with the harness um, i just got it sitting in loose right now got some other things i want to connect later so uh, now i'm going to put the uh, climate control panel back in and it's just the reverse of, of before just make sure it's snipped in and then we're going to put in the the ashtray don't forget to connect uh, the little light connector at the bottom and that's it